Fate comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. You're listening to The Moment of Power with Azano Eddie Thompson. Daily audio devotions to energize your day presented by the Advent Hero Ministries. Our moment of power topic today is Cosmic Conflict Part 7. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. As we approach the final hours of earth's history, the devil will begin to tighten the news, redouble his efforts, tighten the news to make it more difficult to follow Christ, to ensnare and destroy souls during the final hours of earth's history. But we must have the faith that defy all of his assaults. Yes, the onslaught of Satan must not take effect on us. And so that's why we read the word of God so that we can be strong. Paul says in Ephesians chapter 6, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. And we can only be strong by faith in the word of God. When we have faith that cannot be shaken, faith that will not let go under the strongest of pressure. Yes, faith in God, implicit faith. So we must have the faith of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. We must have the patience of Job. We must have the purity of Joseph. Yes, we must have the courage of David, the dedication of Esther, and the love of Jesus. We must have all of these to conquer the devil in the conflict. We became involved in this conflict when Adam and Eve took their bites of the fruit. And from that day, this planet was hijacked by the devil and now he wants to ride it to the end the bible says he knows that his time is short the devil is not joking at all some people are joking they're joking with sin they have theologies that bind them to sins they tell you no we can't live without sin we will be sinning till jesus comes Some people believe that we don't have to even keep the Ten Commandments, that uh, they've been nailed to the cross, uh, that they've been abrogated. But that's not what scripture teaches. The law of God, the Ten Commandments are forever and ever. And that's what the Bible says. And God is calling on you and is saying that in this time in which the devil is full of wrath and knows that his time is short, we need to stand. The Bible says a time of trouble will be on the earth. This will be Satan's last effort to defeat the purpose of God. But God will have a people in the earth will be blessed. Daniel chapter 12 verse 1 quote, And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time and at that time thy people shall be delivered every one that shall be found written in the book and of quote do you have your name in the book of life today have you come to jesus have you been to jesus for the cleansing blood has he written your name are you overcoming your sins by his power are you receiving the holy spirit's power to live a righteous life or you are denying the power and you are still living in sin even when you call yourself a christian a time of trouble is coming and that is not a time to prepare the time to prepare is now michael will stand up for the people of god but those whose names are retained in the book those are the people who will stand through the time of trouble they will have to live in the presence of the holy god without a mediator in the sanctuary probation would have closed and these people will live a perfect life yes 
because Jesus has cleansed all of their sins and he has dealt with all the sins in their lives. Every sin they have confessed and forsaken, now he holds them to himself. He has claimed them on Calvary and in the sanctuary. Now he keeps them by his power. Like he told the woman caught in the act of adultery, go and sin no more. Now he holds them in holiness with the same power with which he holds the heavens and the earth and the unnumbered stars in the universe, in the galaxies, in the billions of galaxies. God's power can keep his people. And everyone whose name is written in the book will be delivered. Because Michael shall stand up for his people and then he shall come to earth to deliver them. What a time it will be. Yes, it's going to be a time, a tough time for the children of God. But as they trust in him, the God that sustains the children of Israel in the wilderness and gives them manna for 40 years. The God that sustained Elijah at the brook of Kerit, sending ravens to feed him and a woman whose food had finished to sustain him. God is again going to sustain his people in the earth. When all the powers of earth and hell arise against them, God is going to stand up for his people. Michael, Christ will stand up. This is the time to prepare. Are you preparing for that time? Are you allowing Jesus to come into your heart? Are you letting him give you the faith of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, developing you the patience of Job and then the purity of Joseph, the courage of David. O oh Lord, today we pray that these things, the love of Jesus, let them be in our hearts. We pray for these things to increase in our lives. The patience of the saints, let it be our portion today so that the devil will be defeated in these last days, in our lives. We know you kicked him out of heaven and you can kick him out of our lives today. Oh Lord, you can kick the rascal out of our lives. Let it be so, Lord, for us. Let it be so. We believe it. Increase our faith, Lord. Increase our love for you. Increase our dedication to you, Lord. I help us to live for you alone. Receive all the glory today. In this moment of power, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.